Welcome back! Today we're checking out some new information on Valheim's Mistland update. I'm incredibly hopeful that it will be coming within the next few months, and the update looks like it's shaping up nicely. In addition to everything coming in the Mistlands that we covered in the last Valheim video, I'll put that up in the right hand corner now should you want to check it out, we have this video of the Mistlands where it looks like it's some kind of daunting, thick cloud of mist that is barring our entry. Somewhere that you really do not want to venture out alone. These pictures and clips, by the way, were taken from the official Twitter as well as Grimcores and Jonathan's pages, and there's something very creepy with the way they've swallowed the whole outer border of the biome in mist. It's very fitting, and I just wonder what lurks in there along with all of that. Now, along with the Mistlands, we have the new stone piece that's been added for the Mistlands boss trophy, though we still have no idea what it is. And we can also see in this image that we will be able to get on top of Yggdrasil. Uh, I'm sorry for my terrible pronunciation. Uh, I, I, I am trying, I promise. Uh, what's interesting to me about this image is that here the floor looks like it's the black marble that we've seen in other images in the build pieces. Could this be where it's mined? And speaking of the new build pieces, we have this shot which encompasses several new build pieces such as the inverted slopes, the slope pieces, the smaller half marble planks and the lanterns, all of which look great as well as the ones that we've seen on the, um, the room behind. We also have the first of the new mushrooms in the game, which looks rather magical. And I'm curious as to what can be lighting the building with the blue particles. Let me know what you think it is or what it could be in the comments below. There's also a new black marble bench and with it a new skin that's being used as a mat on the floor. Could this be the hair that we've seen previously or is it something else? Along with the buildables, we have also seen some new fish as well so you can expect to see me out at sea a lot more and finally Jonathan released this short clip showing off some of the Mistlands food including what looks like hair meat as well as something else before the character mysteriously explodes uh, looking at it in slow motion, the moment the character is killed, we can see an object flying through the air. Now to me, this ominous shape reminds me of the stingers that bloatflies would fire at you in Fallout 4. Could this be something along those lines? Either way, it means that the Mistlands is a lot more dangerous than I initially expected. And potentially, we might be able to farm whatever is fi firing this to create a new explosive weapon for us to harness. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Anyway guys, thank you for watching and thank you to our amazing supporters. Most notably our Solo Clips patrons, James Owen and Fireflesh, as well as our Lunars, The Calamity, Ben and Star, and our Blood Moon of the Day, which today is Papa Snoozy. Until next time, as always, ciao for now.